to dog. Or as they say in Japan, bonjour. Anyway, say sayonara to that weird French language and let's move it to Hearts of Iron 4. So a lot of things people ask for on this channel is usually pain inducing, like silly challenges or rats. But one of the sleepers that have been done and asked for for a while is those old little videos I used to do where I do stupid overpowered broken things in Hoi 4. Now the thing is there's only so many easy broken strats you can really do in Hoi 4 but since No Step Back came out I haven't really done any and I haven't really bothered to look for any either. Now, which is why today I want to improve on the strat I did for a country already. That's right it's everybody's favorite little Little war criminals, the Japanese. Now we're playing completely unmodded and just for the extra CBT, I'm gonna throw Iron Man mode on too, even though I don't think I've got any uh, uh, achievements left to do. But uh, I do kinda wanna do that series where uh, I actually do achievement hunting in Hoi 4. Hey, would that be fun, guys? Leave a subscribe and a like down below. If I get 10 billion subscribers by the next second of the video, I'll go ahead and blow my- All right, so the achievements I have available as Japan is uh, as Kurdistan hold all of your calls, don't worry, I'm on it. Land of the rising sun! And land of the rising amount of reports of criminal activity in China! Hello, welcome to my Hearts of Iron 4 wacky guide! Uh, this actually isn't a guide. For the most part, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna freeball this. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do or what I feel like doing, but I do know I'm not gonna need all these destroyers and submarines. Uh, you know what, I think I'm actually just gonna fully commit to making convoys here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, uh, this carrier, because, um, <laughs> well, for one, naval warfare in Hearts of Iron 4 is a joke! Uh, we'll keep these guys, but, uh, I don't really give a damn, okay? I just want the beautiful convoys. Uh, okay, so first things first, we are not in a faction. Hey, Germany, you have cool faction, correct, Amundo? How much will tension 2.5? Acceptable. Uh, we're just gonna standardize our, uh, uh, army into one template. Uh, we don't have the equipment for it yet, but we also don't need it. Uh, then we're also gonna buy Borrow your stuff, man. To go ahead, you can garrison whatever I need to garrison. There we go, and we're gonna go ahead and send the army to Germany, where they can hang out and learn some cool things, like fascism. And then we're just gonna steal the entire navy but the submarines and send them over here too. We're going to uh, very quickly and briefly tell the navy that they suck and we need guns. In all fairness, though, we we need a lot of guns. You also may have noticed I have still not clicked a focus, because if you watch my focus tree tier list, uh, you'd know that this focus tree sucks. Alright, so instead of justifying on the UK, we're justifying on their puppet British Malaya for much less world and now we will finally do a focus and we're doing the normal purge, the Kadoha faction. Alright, our justification of North Borneo is complete. And as you can see, the Japanese warmongers are definitely very smart, as that is not British Malaya. But we'll get back to that later. Anyway, time for World War Mini War 2. And the best thing you can do is not get the Germans involved, because as you can see, our troops alone are Prepared for the challenge! Uh, as soon as our naval invasion launches, we are gonna go ahead and get ready to also get rid of the Dutch once and for all. If you're scared of Iron Man, just always remember the paradox has done you a favor and allowed cheats in the game. That's right. Press the button down here for instant gratification. Houses, instant gratification accomplished, Batman. Right, now we're not gonna give a damn about supply. We're just gonna rush every single Japanese man we have in Germany into the hole. I don't wanna go too quickly though, as we also need to uh, successfully wipe the Dutch off the face of the earth. I had to pause our invasion because for some reason, the silly allies have actually put some damn boats over here. So I had to bring the Navy all the way back, which means, uh, the invasion of the UK currently looks a lot like this, but as soon as we've landed, I will hit the go button. And once we've taken the port, there we go, we forget about Asia and go back to killing the UK. The UK, uh, very easy to kill, uh, because they don't have an army at the start of the game, or any mobilization, or just anything good other than their giant navy, which runs out of fuel. Well, I thought landing in the Dutch East Indies would be enough to drag them into the peace still, but apparently not. Uh, 
so I'm not too sure if we will have successfully wiped the Dutch off the map or not. We don't really care about actually taking anything from the UK other than this stuff over here and their little Caribbean fun time stuff. Now, the rest of it we're just gonna leave them puppeted with. Good news, I'm still at war with the Allies, which is even better. The remainder of the Allies are with a truce with us, except the Dutch East Indies, so I do believe that means they will just get called back in, which means we get our troops quickly to Canada. All right, they've called them in and perfectly, the Netherlands is actually the war leader, which means I don't think we have to capitulate Canada, which just shaved us a lot of headache. There you go, so those boys are in the frozen wasteland dealing with the Canadians, and we're about to cross the channel back again to deal with the Dutch. Here we go. Also landed in the deserty spider hellhole too, which is visiting all the best places on earth today. Oh, <laughs> there you go. The British have landed in the Netherlands too. I guess it's time to wipe them out and that should end the war for everybody. There we go. We got everyone that we wanted in the peace conference. Nice. Right, now for the Canadians, all we really want to gonna take is this stuff here. Everything else we do not need. And we also just got a lot of oil, not just from uh, the Caribbean over here on the Dutch, we also got it over here, which is amazing. There we go. Japanese Europe has been achieved. And I think you could probably tell where our next course of action might lay. And whilst I was doing all the other stuff, I've already been working on my collaboration government with the Americans. Hopefully we can at least get one or two of these off before we capitulate them. So Manchuka, you can have your units back now. I have no more need for them. And rinse and repeat. Actually, you know what? This is all too easy. We need to, uh, we need to switch this up. We'll do America a little bit later. I got, a. Uh, bigger plans. Boys, welcome to France. It's incredibly disappointing. A bit of the old shock and awe, or as they say in France, Bob Le Pong. Also while here, I've sent the British in uh, to go ahead and uh, carve up, you know, the Middle East, just in case they get a bit too uppity. To uh, divert their angle away from the Japanese oppressor and onto the oppressee in the Middle East. Oh, well, uh, there goes the French. Uh, not too difficult. Uh, once again, not actually that interesting holding a lot of your land, but I will go ahead and also give them a little puppet. So we've got two collabs on the Americans right now. Got a 30% and a 30%. Nice. So we're going to wait for this next one to pop and then we're going back over. Since I never bother actually ever dealing with Turkey in any of my games, I'm going in. Uh, mostly because it gives me uh, a free war with the Romanians too. Buy one, get one free. Oh, I can go ahead and just take over the axe. That's sure, why not? I'm in charge now, Germany. Uh... They am feeling too good right now. If you're a loyal viewer, you'll remember my EU4 version of this video where I as the Ottomans invaded Japan. But do you remember the video where I as Japan invaded the- <laughs> That's right. Welcome to the team! I also got a deal with Romania though, so let's get the navy back on over. I'll wait 70 days for my naval invasion, so uh, yeah, we're going for a quick detour into Iran. There we go, so now we have a completed land border all the way from Indochina through to Europe, which is kind of cut. Had to quickly bring my cast over, almost lost that invasion, but it did the trick. While I'm in the neighborhood, Bulgaria, don't mind if I take a slice out of you. There we go. Our cursed little empire grows. And it's also time, America, that I can pay you a visit in a second. But first, quick pit stop in Hungary just because I'm in the neighborhood, you know. Now we are done in Europe. Uh, now that we have quite literally left our mark. Uh, positive of having my new empire as I now have a gun from every part of the world. Oh yeah, if you keep getting this Chinese provocation at the border thing, just keep clicking the mobilize troops and prepare to war. Uh, found out if you just keep doing the demand and apology one, it's completely worthless. Uh, just keep doing that. You get an endless war goal and I will come and deal with China at some point. Okay, I promise. Alrighty, America. Time to pay you a little visit. Uh, I guess I'll also call in my new friends. I uh, don't want to call the Germans in, of course, or the Canadians. We want to keep the front line as small as possible. And we ain't inviting the Germans because the Germans smell. They've got a weird sausagey smell, and they also would take the land because player-led conferences is not on. This war is going to be over in seconds. Not only have I collapsed them, uh, they also have 19 and 55 divisions. So yeah, it's going to be over in seconds. Look at that. With our collab government, we've made it this far into America, and they are about to capitulate. Remember, boys. 
collabs all the way. Uh, it also means because of our high levels of collaboration, uh, we now pretty much get every single factory that we um, we possibly could out of the Americans. Uh, we could also give them the uh, the free American blah 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 and have them as a puppet, but we're not going to do that. I just want to reap the reward. And yeah, quite literally just went from 300 to like 400 factories, which is pretty tasty. Uh, right, anyway, yeah, I forgot about China. We should probably do China next. Right, well, uh, the uh, Communist Chinese declared war on China and then Communist China joined the Soviets, which means that China is now all the Soviets and they're also at war with me. Hey, there you go. China dealt with. Uh, the Communist Chinese kind of took some land there, but I don't care. All right, now we didn't get the rest of the China because we haven't actually done uh, the Marco Polo Bridge incident, which I guess we should start working on. All right, boys. I got a very funny little idea. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm not in the axe anymore because I did the, uh, the Greater East Asian Prosperity Sphere, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to bring them back in. Yeah, so surprisingly, uh, a little bit easy, but um, they're also, <laughs> they're taking my empire. But as you can see, I am overall the winner here. All right, now we're also just going to hopefully yoink all of this before the Soviets do. Oh, <laughs> the Italians didn't join my war, but they joined the German war, so I guess they, they've just been left behind in Russia. Not my problem, though. All right, Stalin. I'm coming back for it. Uh, boys, this one's gonna be a bit interesting to watch. Uh, you know what? I think I'm also gonna invite everyone but Manchuka in for the fun time. Oh, yeah, okay, hold on, let's just wait. Uh, so they've got 405 casualties right now. Uh, all from the Italians. But let's see if we can change that. Alright, just bypass the river line and we have made it to 801,000 casualties. And I've taken 65k. 48 of which were from the Polish People's Republic. Uh, to be fair, we've definitely had better casualties on the Soviets before, but I don't have any tanks whatsoever. This is all just infantry and cas right now, which, um, if you don't know, very broken in Hoi 4 single player. The only problem with the air build is you're having to constantly build airfields, which uh, isn't a problem when you have 10 kabillion factories like myself. Oh, well, uh, they capitulated before I could even look at the final casualties, but you can imagine there'd be a lot. There we go. FCP Stalin has been contained in the penis province. And uh, there we go. We are pretty much done. Uh, I could go ahead and just annex uh, my vassals if I, if I wanted to. Just do that quickly as well. And there uh, we go, look, we look so cool. We we own the entire world. Except Italy and South Africa. And you know, all the other dweebs that weren't worth invading. Still all the Guanzi, I was sniping them, but they didn't join the uh, Soviet Union. So uh, I, I guess I'll very quickly kill them. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. And there we go. Mission accomplished. That is one overpowered Japan star. Uh, just, uh, you know, is it a start? Uh, yeah, so there are a lot of broken things you can still do in Hoi 4. And, uh, of course, we did all this on Iron Man, so there was no funny business. Although, there, actually, there was way more funny business on Iron Man than I've ever done in, like, any of my videos recently. Uh, there is just too much you can break in this damn game, that is for certain. Oh, uh, yeah, so I guess we are done here. If you enjoyed the video... Uh, Oh, you know, wait a second, I fully forgot. Uh, uh, ah, there we go. I will go ahead and do this. Boom! Kurdistan! Right, if I can pause, does that mean I, uh, I also get the... There, there you go, look! Achievement unlocked! Wow! I guess the real winner of the video and life in general, as always, is the Kurds!